hey youtube i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i pluck my frontals and how i bleach my knots if you guys want to know how i do that then y'all stay tuned and watch the whole video what i'm doing now is i'm packaging the hair uh the store on amazon which i got the hair from a bundley store that's the account name and this is a 13 by 4 hd transparent lace body wave wig and the length is 20 inches all the other details gonna be below in the description box so y'all click and check it out What I'm showing you guys now is that the wig came with four clips, two on the side, one in the middle, and one in the back to hold the wig down in place. Right here, this is just me showing you guys the wig without plucking, the wig with no bleaching. It's just its virgin self. What I'm doing here is taking my got to be glue free spray and just using that to hold all the flyaways, the hair, the stray hairs from the front of the wig so that it can be out of the bleaching process way. So I saw in another video when I was doing my research that one and a half cup of the lightning powder is perfect for what we are about to do. So that's what I'm going to take the same measurements and I think I didn't really measure the 20 volume developer but you will see in the video that I took I think two halves of that little measuring thing which equals to one of it. So you'll see further down the line how I measured the developer. This mixture here is with just half of the developer in. As you can see, it's still clumpy, lumping, and thick. It's not supposed to be like that. I'm going to add another half of this measuring cup to the mixture. And you're going to see right now how it really looks. Boom. This is how it's supposed to look. Creamy and not falling off your not falling off of your appl applicator just like that just like that look how beautiful that looks mm. 
Now it's time to apply our bleaching mixture to the frontal area. And I'm gonna be starting from the back upwards. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of pressing down into the lace so that it can get into the knots. I had to switch up the camera position because I didn't like how my arm was in the video, taking up all the camera spotlight. If this is your first time using any type of chemical products, I advise you to wear gloves because I've done it so many times and I didn't have a pair of gloves. I just free-handed it, like no gloves, no nothing. But you're not supposed to do this. Now you just want to make sure that everything is even and you ain't miss no spots. Since we use 20 volume developer, we're going to leave this on for about 20 minutes or 25. I think I left this on for 30 minutes because I came back to check the knots and it wasn't bleached. It wasn't lightened to my liking. Right here, I'm showing you guys how the knots came out after I wash out the bleach. Uh, let me show you guys the roots, give you a little bit close up. You see the orange right there? Yeah, it processed. Now what I'm gonna do is take some of my purple neutralizing shampoo and just rub that into the lace just to get some of that orangey tone out. You don't want to do no petty rubbing on this lace. You want to get this shampoo into it. Like, wash that thing like you're washing clothes on your hand. And what I did after I rub it, rub it, rub it, I left the shampoo on it for like about five minutes just to make sure that it was, you know, doing its job. After I rinse out the shampoo, as y'all can see, the knots are not so orange. And this is the left side of the wig. I plucked it off camera just to show you guys a little bit of a difference. And this is the right side, not plucked.
to begin my plucking process, I section off the hairline of the wig just to start plucking behind it. I don't like to pluck at the hairline because it makes the wig look too scanty and thin. When plucking a frontal or a closure, you basically just removing hair, the bulk of hair, at random spots. Like, you don't want to do the same spot. You're just removing it at random spots. And then you also want to remove the hair that you plucked so you can see what you're working with. I went ahead and took out another row of the hair because I still feel like it was a bit bulky. And I've just plucked behind that a little bit more. And here's a slower and up close and personal of um, my plucking technique. This 13 by 4 frontal did not have a lot of side parting space. It was so annoying because it was like I wanted to pluck the sides but then I didn't want to pluck too much or else it would look too thin. The main areas I plucked in this wig were the sides because the middle, I wanted it to be a little bit fuller for my middle part. That'll be all for this video. Um, I'm glad you guys stayed to the end. Whoever stayed to the end, I appreciate you. Uh, remember to wear gloves when working with chemicals. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this because I'm so excited to get my hands back into some hair see you guys in the next video toodles